waiting out there Too afraid to try and make a change But now I realize I've got to be brave Thinking out what can to be me Cause I know I gotta show Yeah, what I'm capable of Because I don't wanna be I'll see the stars If you want a shot, I'll make it What? I got the white factor And all the roadblocks that don't face me What? I just knock them down Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh yeah If you want it, you can you take ready? it now Are you ready? Oh. Cause I got the white Yeah, I got the white I got the white factor I'm gonna go hard, I'm not gonna fit I can feel the eyes are watching me There's only one chance so you can't be late Starting now, I'm making that change It's my goals And I know eh, I gotta make them come true Because I don't wanna be Good afternoon, good day, good morning. How are you all doing? You are welcome to Healthy Living Shows. Okay, show it every Saturday afternoon at 12 p.m. You are highly welcome. My name is Jessica, and today we are going to be cooking an amazing delicacy. Yeah, and we are also going to be doing some yummy, 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 sweet, delicious, healthy chicken salad. Okay, so for our menu for today is our coconut protege with chicken healthy salad. That is what we are going to be doing this afternoon. Cooking a more healthier. We are using our wonderful salad master healthy cooking system. So these are the two menu that I'll be preparing today. Hope you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, and please, uh, please, please, please also subscribe to our YouTube channel for the healthy living shows. Please also follow us on our Instagram handle at LZ Salad Master. And also, we are streaming live now on Facebook at Salad Master in Nigeria. All my health is wealth. Okay, health is wealth. No matter that money, if you don't live in a good health, forget it. Okay, so try as much as you can to eat healthy, live healthy. Okay, all right. So thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you all so very much for all our wonderful YouTube subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Okay, if you are just joining us, you see that red bell button? Just press on it and also subscribe, comment, and share this video because you might be seeing my live. All right. So before I intro, uh, I start uh, introducing the ingredients or rather the recipes that I'll be using for my uh, coconut pottage and also healthy chicken salad. I'll first of all wash my hands and with soap and water. Okay. So first thing we do when we enter in the kitchen first is to wash our hands our hands with soap and water is very very important okay okay all right and then we dab it clean with either kitchen roll kitchen towel or anything if you that is clean okay all right, without further more shadow, let's start. Let's dive straight into the intro uh, introduction. So far, uh, I'm going to be introducing the recipes for the uh, coconut potage first. Then after that, I'm going to be introducing the one for healthy salad. All right, so far, coconut potage, I'm going to be using coconut. Okay, this is edible coconut. So I will tell you the reason why I use this particular. There are different species of coconut, but I will tell you the reason why I decide to use this one. And then I'm going to be using purple onion, two bulbs of purple onion. And here I have, uh, this is water leaf, or you can as well call it water cress. This is water leaf. And I'm using my red chilies and also my red scotch bonnet, locally called a torodo. And here we have dry smoked fish. Okay. Dry smoked fish. 
And I have blended crayfish, Nikki peas, and blended. The more you blend it, the more the, the flavor comes out. Here I have oil bean. This is oil bean. It's locally called in Igbo language. Um, it's locally called in Igbo language, Obaka or Oba. So if you know what this called is, your native direct, please kindly just leave their comments in the comment section. I would like to know what this is called in your local direct. And I'll be using my chicken stock. Normally, you don't have to use chicken stock, but I don't want to waste this because I kind of get this from my chicken, which I'll be using for my salad. So I'll be using this chicken stock. And I'll also be showing you how you can also get your chicken stock. And then, so that is it for our, that is it for our uh, coconut pottage. And here I'll be using our cajun spice because in Salad Master, we try as much as possible not to include MSG into our cooking because we try as much as possible to also bring you healthy, healthy recipes, okay? And we're also going to be using sea salt, which is alkaline in nature. And so, so these are my recipes for my uh, cocoyam pottage, okay? And then my recipes for my healthy salad, healthy chicken salad, I'm going to be using uh, baby cabbage. I, I prefer baby cabbage because they're kind of more tender, not that so hard, they're kind of more tender, more juicy, yeah? And then I'm going to be using white onions. I'm going to be using tea, uh, fingers, two fingers of cucumber, and also my green red bell pepper, and also the red bell pepper and a lemon. So I'm going to be using the lemon juice. And I have my chicken, because this is called healthy chicken salad. So we use a grilled chicken. We grill this already because of time. No, we are doing this live. And I have here black pepper. This is black pepper. Okay, so for my dressing, the dressing my chicken salad, I'm going to be using honey. Uh, it said that you should use uh, sugar, but I prefer honey because honey is actually more healthier than white sugar. Yeah, so we are going to be using sugar, we are going to be using salt, then we are also going to be using olive oil. Okay, we are going to be using olive oil. So, this is what I'm going to be using to dress my healthy chicken salad. All right. Okay, now, so let's dive straight into the cooking. Okay. So for my cooking today, I've chosen uh, two salad masks, one of two salad masks, uh, health nutrition, nutritional cooking system, that is NCS. Okay. So I'm going to be using, this is uh, seven quarts. This comes after the 10 quarts, okay? So this is seven quarts, which is just about eight people, depending on what you are cooking or what you are dishing or what you are using it for. And then here, this one, this is a five wok, very unique, very portable and unique. So this one, I'm going to be using this one to cook my coconut because I'm not going to immerse my coconut inside the water. So I'm going to be using this. There's something we call the culinary basket, but that is not available for now. Okay, I use this for something else. So I'm going to be also be doing this. So in case if you have these two at home, this is called the cupcakes. This is a pan of the cupcakes. Okay, so you can also use this. It's up to two today, three quarts. You can as well use this, you see? So salad master is very, very good. You can use one thing to do more, to do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be using this. All right, so for a cocoa yam, like I said, in salad master, we do not peel any of our tomb pack crops. We do not peel at all, like cocoyam, Irish potatoes, sweet potatoes, beetroot, you know, carrot, ginger, anything grown under the soil at all that you know, which I've not mentioned. Okay, we do not peel, we do not use knife to peel the skin off because our dietitian or nutritionist said that if you peel any of the tomb pack crops, they are peeling most of the nutrient away because the nutrient is limited they need to the skin. So we do not peel because peeling is also one of the enemies to nutrition, yeah? So what we normally do is to get a vegetable brush, just as this. So we use it to scrub, yeah? Any tomb pack crops under running water, it scrub it until all the dirt and sand is out and then it's clean. Okay. So what we do is to add some water. Okay, 
So this thing, I've already preheated my uh, five work. We also have seven work too, but this is five work. So this is already preheated. So I'm just gonna add some water. So you add a little water and then you incite this. You see that it's not having any partial contact with the water. And then you insert your cocoa yam there. So there, by doing this, you're not immersing the cocoa yam in water. Okay. So we cover this. Okay, turning on my hob. Okay, so we cover this and just allow this to simmer. So because we are cooking our uh, cocoa yam pottage, normally when you are cooking your cocoa yam pottage, just like the normal way you cook your yam, you peel the skin off. Yeah, I'm just telling you your normal stuff for cooking. You peel the yam and then you wash and then you cook. But here in Salad Master, we are not peeling. So what we are going to do to that cocoa yam, we're not going to cook that cocoa yam. I'm not going to cook that cocoa yam to be absolutely soft, you know. I'm going to cook it just like half done, as if I'm just pre-cooking, so that we still retain the nutrient, the medicine in the cocoa yam. Thereby, we are not peeling. Because when we peel, then we boil. But we are not going to peel, and we are not going to wash in water. Because when we wash in water, we wash out the sweetness, we wash out the flavor, we wash out the medicine. And at the end of the day, we are presenting shav on the table, no. So that is why Salad Master and Rishi do to cook in a more healthier way. So when you are watching this program all the time, you get to know how to cook, how to, you know, nurture your food, okay? Nurture your food, take care of your food, just like you take care of your face too, so that the food can take care of your body and then your body can take care of you, all right? Okay, so without wasting much of your time again, so I'm going to blend the pepper. This is my red bell pepper, and also my red scotch bonnet. So for those who doesn't kind of actually like a spicy food, you can just do with just only this red bell, only this red chili, because red chili is very spicy because of the seed too. So no need of removing the seed because the seed are actually very healthy, yeah? And then if you want it a little spicy, then you can just add it too. So all the items, all the recipes that I have on this slab, they're already clean. They're already prepped. What I mean by prepped, they're clean and washed. So I'm going to use my blender to blend this red bell pepper, yeah, and red chili in a very, very smooth paste. So you can also add your bell peppers too, which is fine. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add little water. I know this is pepper. Pepper don't actually have much water. Had it been is tomatoes, no need of adding water. So we are going to add more water, little water for easy blending, so that we do not spoil our blender. just the way I like it. It's already smooth. I don't want to open it now so that I will not start shaking on pepper. Yeah, so when we cook to we use our number six cents. Okay. All right, so our cocoa yam is ready now. Whoa, this is amazing. Okay. So I'm going to take this out now so that I will allow this to cool a little bit before peeling off. So I will take this out. So when you are cooking it this way, you don't need to kind of cook it for so long because you are still going to cook it in perfect sauce. Okay, so you see the water in there. Okay. So we set this aside. Yeah. Okay. So this, we are going to allow this to cool a little bit. 
and then before we peel. So while we are waiting for this uh, cocoa yam to cool off a little bit, I'm going to start by slicing my onions, my purple onions. Try as much as possible to include onions in your diet, I mean in your food. Onions is very healthy, help for your, uh, help for total body maintenance and also very nutrition yeah, nutritional and also kind of makes our food really delicious. I don't know whether you've noticed that. When you blend onions in your tomatoes or use it for jerk fries, it's very, that rice, trust me, it's going to be super, 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 super yummy. All right, so I'm going to be using my friend in the kitchen. This is what uh, famous salad master food processor or salad master machine hands name salad master comes with five different cones from cone number one to cone number five depending on what your trail gives you different sizes calls designs and shapes depending on what you are cutting okay it's a master of fruits and vegetables okay so i'm going to be using onions okay so i'm going to be using these two bulbs of onions for my cocoa yam cottage Okay, so the cone I'm using is cone number two. Whoa, you can see how fast and easy. It says our customers 50% of their time in the kitchen, slicing, cutting, shredding, chopping, and the likes. Okay. And no kitchen is complete without this phenomenal, amazing food processor. No kitchen is complete without this. Okay. Cause your salad, food salad in no time. Saves you a lot of thread of shopping different designs and so we scope all this out. An amazing thing is also releases its juice. No need trapping the juice on the cones beautiful okay so i'm done slicing my onions isn't this beautiful yeah so for most of you who doesn't like seeing naked onions in their food you can just use the cone one which gives you a very tiny slice okay so i'm going to start by i hope you can all say this yeah so i'm going to start by peeling off my cocoa yam so we start off by peeling off the eggs. So cocoa yam is very, very nutritional, as in contains a lot of health benefits. Did you know that cocoa yam contains vitamin A, which is actually very good for your eyes? Mm -hmm. I thought it's already, uh, I thought it's already orange, uh, product maybe like citrus that is kind of contains vitamin A. I didn't know that cocoa yam too also contains vitamin A and it's also very good for your skin. Hmm. So please, this is the, uh, the special of the cocoa yam that I'm using. You don't have to use the one they use for soup thickener, yeah? Like where you want to prepare or have soup or bitter leaf soup, you know, the slimy one so that you do not end up having an inchy throat. Only God knows when it's gonna end, okay? So, but if you want to use that one, then you have to cook it for minimum of three days. Do you have all that time? I bet you don't, okay? So the best best is to get this red one or the white one in the market. Just cook, it does not take much time to cook. And also, cocoa is also good for your teeth. It contains calcium too. Very good for your teeth too as well. For general body maintenance. So there are different ways and different of size of cooking your cocoa yam. You can cook, take your cocoa yam as a swallow or as a pottage, just like I'm doing right now. Or you can, you can also use this one too as your soup thickener too. Okay. You can also as well fry it. You can just boil it, then make a sauce and eat it. Also very nice and yummy. Okay. 
So then we cut in uh, biteable sizes. Nice biteable sizes. You see that? Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, yeah? Very beautiful. So I just showed you that. I already have the one I cut previously. I don't want to waste much of your time. We are live. Okay, so here is it, beautiful, yeah? So then we are going to be cooking this straight away. Oh, okay, Pepe, you should come with me, let's go. All right, nice. Okay, all right, so I'm just trying to gather all my recipes together because all the recipes are going there, in there at once. No need of waiting to boil for uh, simmer for two minutes, three minutes. No, everything is going in directly at once. So that's why I'm trying to gather all my ingredients together. Okay, so that is the reason why I love Salad Master. Just dump in all your recipes there and boom. Your food will be ready. Okay. Yeah. So that is it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm ready. All right, so we are going to just start cooking the cocoa yam now, the cocoa yam pottage. Okay, so I'm using my seven quarts. So the first thing I have to add inside my seven quarts, I'm going to So the first thing I'm going to add inside my seven quarts, I'm going to add in my stock. So this is the chicken stock here. I have uh, ginger, garlic, onions, pepper, and cajun spice. First of all, I marinated this for about three hours before boiling the chicken and then grilling the chicken. Yeah, so this is the stock. It's not compulsory, you must use the stock though. So you can just do it with just the bell pepper, but I don't want to waste this. So the reason why, that is the reason why I'm using this stock. Okay. Well, all right. So I've added in the stock and then the next one I'm going to be adding there. I'm going to be adding in my uh, sliced onions. Use, I use salad master cone number two to slice this. I love plenty of onions. I love a lot of onions in my food. Beautiful. All right. Okay. So the next one I'm going to be adding. Easy. I'm going to be adding in my blended pepper. Okay. I'm going to be adding in my blended pepper. Yeah. So here we have a red chili, let's gosh bonnets. We add this in here. 
Whoa. So if you are just joining me on the show and you are wondering what we are doing today, we are cooking coconut pottage with salad, healthy chicken salad. That is what we are making today. Okay. Nice. Okay. So the next one I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding in my blended crayfish. This is blended crayfish. And then I'm going to be adding in my smoked dry fish. This is smoked dry fish. Okay, so this is already washed. I wash this with salt and then I scrub this with also the vegetable brush. Scrub it very well. So no need of using hot water, yeah, to because sometimes you kind of use the boil hot water and then they soak the dry smoke fish inside the hot water, which I don't think is okay because when you are doing that, you're also kind of trashing and removing the remaining sweetness and the flavor in the fish. Okay. So the whole sweetness leashes out. Okay. So the next one I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding in my oil bin. This oil bean is very healthy, very, very healthy. So remember I said, I want to know what this is called in your local direct. And then I'm going to be adding in my cajun spice. So this cajun spice does not contain any MSG at all. This is just a combination of uh, paprika, sea salt, yeah, rosemary, and uh, curry. So I want to get my spoon. So I'm going to be using this. This is one tablespoon of cajun spice. Okay. It's very healthy. No MSG. Beautiful. So the next one I'm also going to be adding is my sea salt. Okay, which is more better than the normal table sauce because this is low processing and also contains alkaline to alkaline in nature. So I'm going to be adding almost half and always keep it leveled. Boom. All right, so the next one we are going to be adding is our half boiled cocoa yam. You see that? So the whole medicine is installed in tax. Okay, we did not peel the eggs. We boil with the skin before peeling. So we are going to give this a very good stir so that all the ingredients can be well incorporated. And then we allow this to simmer for a good 10 minutes. So you can just close your eyes and then imagine how good or how tasty this is going to taste. Trust me. And this food, I'm not using palm oil. No palm oil. So if you notice from my recipes, I just use the cajun spice and sea salt only. Okay. So salad master does not need too much of spices. What you put in is what you get out. And it's also made of titanium 316i, which enables you to cook with absolutely no oil at all, which is good health, healthy. So then we cover the eggs and we allow this to simmer for 10 minutes. So this is the vapor verb. This is the vapor verb. So if this continues to sit, then we are cooking above 86 degrees Celsius because salad master does not cook above 86 degrees Celsius. We are above 86. We do not cook up to 100. We cook at 86. So when this starts ticking, we reduce it. So salad master cook from medium click low. So once this thickens, we turn it. No. All right. All right. So that is it for our coconut pottage. So in there, we have our coconut cooking already. We are just going to wait for a good 10 minutes for you to get ready. We will be right back. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the like and share and also comment. Okay. 
All right, so we will be right back. We are going to go on a short break and we will be right back. Please do not go yet because I want you to see the end of this amazing cooking. All right, I will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. My name is Jessica, and you are on to Healthy Living Show, showing every Saturday afternoon at 12 uh, p.m. West African time. Okay. So, if you are just joining me and you are wondering what we are making on the show today, we are making cocoa yam pottage and also healthy chicken salad. Okay. So, I'm still waiting to know what that uh, oil bean is called in your local direct. Okay. I want to know. Okay, I'm waiting for your comments, please. All right. Okay, so straight up, uh, I'm going to start with the salad immediately. So at the beginning of the show, I introduced my recipes for my healthy salad, healthy chicken salad. Okay. So I'm going to reintroduce them again. Okay, so for my healthy chicken salad, I'm going to be using white onions, uh, cucumbers, green red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, lemon. I'm going to be using the lemon juice and also cabbage. And I'm going to be using black pepper, grilled chicken, soft grilled chicken. Honey, instead of using sugar, it's preferable to use honey sea salt, and of course, uh, olive oil for dressing. All right, let's wash our hands again. Okay. So I prefer to use my hand gloves. All right. So this, chick uh, this uh, chicken salad is very easy to make. Okay, if you also be watching our YouTube channel, you can also do different salad instead of the normal, normal everyday cabbage, carrots, and corn, just like coleslaw. You can do varieties of salad for you and your family. Very healthy. No mayonnaise, no salad cream. Prepared in a healthy way. Pills, farm fresh. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I have to start, I'm going to start with cabbage. Cabbage is very, very powerful very very healthy contains a lot of health benefits okay so the cone i'm going to be using for my cabbage is cone number five okay which is the waffler so salad master is very easy to use it's anti-clockwise 
Okay, very easy. You see that? All right. So the first thing we use is the cabbage. What do you normally do when you come to this? This hard part, you throw it away. You throw them away because it's what is hard. And sometimes, sometimes people say that it's bitter. But do you know that is the actual demolition in the cabbage? That is where you get your pepsins from. So when you're having indigestion or stomach upset, okay, and then you're running and turning and wondering what medicine to do, no need of running to that chemist. Just get your cabbage, cut off this part, chew it, and drink water. Within five minutes or a few minutes, you'll be all right. Okay. Okay. Boom. Finish slicing. So it's very fast and easy. See? No need to rush. So when it gets smaller like this, because I share with my precious finger, so salad master to also provide so with a finger guide, open it, throw it in, apply a little pleasure, and then continue slicing. And boom. It's ready. Okay. So the next one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with my cucumber. I'm going to be using two different kinds of cone. I'm going to be using cone number two and also cone number three. Okay. So I'm using cone number three, which is called FF, which gives you this bigger long slice. So like I said, these cones give you different design shapes and cut, depending on how you place your vegetable or your fruit. So the design and the shape is up to you. See that nice fine cuts. And cabbage too contains um, 96% uh, water. Good for hydration. Very good. Good for skin. Good for black eye. Panda eye. Okay. You know this dark circle underneath your eye is very good. Just apply it a little bit uh, for a few minutes. And then it will clear off when you constantly doing that. Then I'm going to be using cone number two, which I also use for the onions for my cucumber. It gives me a little tiny slice cut. Okay. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? This is absolutely beautiful. And I'm also going to be using say num cone number two to slice my onions, white onions. Onions is very healthy for you for clear vision, for healthy skin, healthy hair. So we also put onions in the salad. Don't be surprised or don't kind of see something new. It's very healthy. All right. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to slice my red bell peppers with the aid of Salad Master knife. Salad Master also produces knife. We have our blocks of knives. I hope you can see that. Okay. Can you all see that? Nice. Okay, so we also put our red bell peppers in the salad, which is very good for weight loss, contains vitamin A2 for eyes, and contains a very super antioxidant for total general body wellness. Okay. And you also can also use it for side dish or for food garnishing. So I'm going to call this in smaller uh, shapes. Okay, I can hear the sound of our cookware calling me. Hey, Jessica, you are using nutrients. Come and turn me down. So whenever you are cooking with Salad Master Healthy Cooking System, you have to pay attention to your cookware. Don't just ignore it because we cook for health. All right. All right, so this is thickened. Okay, so this is the vapor bar. which shows that I'm cooking below above 86 degrees Celsius. So what do we do is to turn it down. This is doing nice. I love this. All right. Okay. 
Okay. in the nylon. My hub is performing magic. It doesn't want to pee because I put on a hand glove. It doesn't want to pee. I have to pull off the hand glove before it was able to pick. All right. So back to our salad. We are making healthy chicken salad using our wonderful salad master food processor. Okay, to cut, dice, and slice. Okay, so now I'm cutting the red bell pepper. So you can also add all the whole different colors of red bell pepper. There are different colors, which gives you more nice appetizing look. Okay, we love our food colorful. We love the rainbow color. We love it colorful, making it looking healthy and yummy. The greener, the fresher, the more nutrients. We're gonna be dishing out. Okay. So this is actually a sweet pepper. It's not spicy. It's not. It's a sweet pepper, and also very good for weight loss too. Yeah. So I want to finish making the salad before I make the dressing. So for this uh, salad, we are not going to be using any mayonnaise or salad cream. We are going to be doing our own natural healthy salad dressing. This is colorful. All right. Boom. I love this already. I love the way it's looking already. Okay. So what we are going to do, We are going to make the dressing first before we add in the chicken. Okay. So this is my lemon. I'm going to cut this into two. And use salad massacre number one to trap in the seed. No oil. So use salad massacre number one to trap in the seed. No need of adding the zest, but if you want to add that to it's fine. But for this particular salad, I don't need the zest. I only need the juice. And you also know that lemon is a citrus fruit. It's loaded with lots of vitamin C. Okay. All right. So the next one I'm going to be adding is my olive oil. So this is olive oil. So no need of putting your olive oil. You don't need of preheating it because when you preheat it, you diminishes the oil. You no need of preheating any oil you want to use for your salad. Just pour in directly like that. Okay. All right, beautiful. And then the next one I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding in my sea salt, just like a pinch, yeah? So we just take little, very little. Did you see that, almost like a pinch? Sea salt. And then I'm going to be adding honey two tablespoons of honey instead of using uh, white sugar so it's preferable we use honey and did you know that honey never expires honey can stay like three four years never expire so we are going to be adding honey to okay, another one Beautiful. Okay. So the next one we are going to be adding is our black pepper. I don't want to use the normal, you no, know, those uh, black pepper they use for intercontinental dish. I use our local habanero black pepper, which is more spicy and the flavor is super, super yummy. Yeah. 
So what we are going to do is that we are going to tear this together. Oh yeah, this is absolutely gonna be so, 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 so yummy. I hope you can see that. So, 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 so yummy. Okay. So let me say this again. So here we have this, so I'm doing my salad dressing. Here I have uh, olive oil, honey, lemon juice, sea salt, just a pinch, and black pepper. So black pepper is just a half teaspoon. Okay. So we are going to use this to dress our salad. And I also want to show you what my salad looks like too. I want to have a clear look. So this is what my salad looks like. So here I have cabbage, I have white onions, I have cucumbers, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. Yeah, so I'm about to add in my, okay. All right, so let's add in our salad dressing. Whoa, beautiful. Amazing. And this smells so good, smells so good. So here, yeah, we are going to stir eggs. Give this a nice, good mixture. So I'm going to stir this very well before I add in my chicken. So remember I said my chicken, I marinated it for about three hours with ginger, onions, garlic, and cajon spice. You marinate it, cover it, put it in the uh, fridge to sit for about three hours before you boil. So when I boiled it, no, I did not add any water. So it was the water that comes out because uh, chicken has its own natural moisture to cook. So when I added in the water, when I added down the chicken cover, reduce the heat and the water comes out. So that is the water I use as my stock for my cocoa pottage. Mm. Okay, looking yummy. So we then add our chicken. Okay, so this is the chicken. This is grilled chicken. So I'm going to be adding this. So the more I add, the more I stir. So no need of adding the chicken first and then you just pour all the salad dressing on top of the chicken. No, pour the salad dressing in the salad, mix it thoroughly before you then add in your chicken. So the chicken will be the last thing you add it there. Okay. Mm. And trying as much as possible to try this very well. To turn this very well. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So let's see the end products. Let's see how this looks. Oh, this is super, super yummy. So you can serve this for your guests or just that is for yourself. Absolutely yummy. Okay. So thereby we're gonna continue with our yam potato. So it's time for me to slice, to slice my water leaf. Or water cress. So this is my water leaf. Okay, you can use spinach too as well. Okay, or any vegetable of your choice. But the reason why I use this, this is a little bit slimy. I love when I make my um, my potato potage. I love that slimy stuff on it. So that is the reason why I decided to use water leaf. Water leaf so also contains a lot of water and very yummy too. So we use this for different kinds of cooking for your vegetable soup and also check our YouTube channel. You also see where I use this particular leaf to cook soup, just this leaf alone. Okay. So it's already washed, it's already prepped. So it's very it's more hygienic, more hygienic and more healthy. 
to wash your vegetable before you slice. So you take care of your food. When you are cooking your food, have that patience, okay? To prep all the recipes down. So cooking is also like art. You take your time to put everything together. And at the end of the day, you're having a yummy, healthy food, especially when you're cooking with Salad Master Healthy Cooking System. All right. Okay. All right. So this is slides already. So then we are going to be checking on our coconut pottage. It should be ready by now, which I know and I'm sure. Whoa. Mm, the aroma. Oh my God. I can literally perceive everything. I can perceive onions. Yeah. Smoked dry fish, the oil bean, smoked fish, crayfish, and also the ginger and the garlic that is inside the stock and the cajun spice. Hmm. Whoa. So then we are going to be adding dicks. This is the last thing we are going to be adding. And once I add it in, I will just tear it, cover it, and the food is ready. No need of cooking it for long. So you stir this. Whoa. This is medicine. The power of your food. The medicine is in the food. Hmm. All right. Okay, so now that I've added in the vegetable, what am I going to do? I'm going to totally off my off my my electric hob because the kids in the food in the cook where we just cook the vegetable yeah all right okay so we've come to the end of our cooking the only thing now is just for me to dish yeah so i'm going to dish is to dish the so i'm going to dish my cocoa yam pottage because that is the first thing I cook before I dish my salad, my chicken salad. All right. Okay. So I'm going to dish this food now. So this cocoa potato was cooked absolutely with no oil at all. So all we used for the base was red bell peppers and red squash.
Introducing Salad Master's Special Edition, commemorative 75th anniversary piece, the 12 quart roaster. Made with high quality 316 TI stainless steel and thermal core construction that helps protect the purity and flavor of foods during the cooking process. Salad Master's exclusive Vapo Valve technology makes cooking even easier, letting you know when it's time to reduce the heat. Our semi vacuum cooking method creates an environment that locks in moisture maintains food's natural flavor and helps preserve food's natural vitamins and minerals. The 12 quart capacity, sized generously, it's a piece you can rely on when cooking meals for a crowd or meal prepping. Offers a large cooking surface and wide shape with sloping sides for easy maneuvering of food. Perfect for browning, braising, stove top roasting and large batch stewing. Cover nestles seamlessly and allows for more storage options within your kitchen. And a portion of the profits will be donated to organizations that serve local and global diabetes communities. Become a part of Salad Master's movement to lead the way back to healthy home cooking. Get started today with a 12 quart roaster. Salad Master, change your cookware, change your life.